everyone, Sybil Sikowski here. Okay, what do you do if your dog goes bonkers every time a delivery person comes to the door? Well, screaming at him isn't gonna do any good. Save all that yelling for the kids. <laughs> you have to desensitize Sparky to the doorbell by training him with these simply sensational steps. Now, have a friend or a family member approach the door and scratch it softly. If the dog doesn't bark, Praise him, scratch his furry little head and give him a treat. There you go. Then tap the door, no barking, same thing. Reward him, give him affection and a treat. Just a side note, this also works with spouses. Next thing you do is knock on the door. No barking, give him a treat. You can see where this is going, people. Finally, ring the doorbell. If he doesn't bark, then you've just taught your old dog a new trick and that bad habit will be gone. From now on, he won't harass that cute little FedEx guy. Unfortunately, he also won't bark at the burglar who's just pulled up on the U-Haul. This is Sybil Sikowski with Simply Sensational Solutions. Oh, hi everybody, Sybil Sikowski here. Is your pooch a beggar? Well, here's a typical scenario. You're at someone's house, you're trying to enjoy a nice dinner. Of course, at my mother-in-law's house, I'm not trying to enjoy dinner, I'm trying to figure out what the heck is it? <laughs> One thing I know for sure, the side dish will always be served with severe cramping and diarrhea. I don't mean to digress. However, I would like to digest. Okay, let's get off the two-legged creature, shall we, and back to the four-legged ones. When your pooch starts to beg for food, you need to look him straight in the eye and hold that gaze for five seconds. <laughs> Just like this. That mimics what's known to the animal world as a broadside display, <laughs> where a creature appears larger than he really is to scare off the rival. Now, that sustained eye contact tells him to stop him in his tracks and don't even think about that piece of meat on my plate. This method is also very effective with children. You'll finally be able to eat in peace without those pesky parasites busting your pork chops. This is Sybil Sikowski with Simply Sensational Solutions. Oh, hi everybody, Sybil Sikowski here. You know, you love your pooch so much and he loves you, but unlike him, you don't wet yourself when you see each other at the end of the day. Well, maybe you do. That's a whole other problem. We'll deal with that later. Uh, here's what you got to do about your piddling pooch. First, avoid rushing to the rover the second you get home. Give him a chance to chill. Calm down. Get with the movement. You know what I'm saying? Get there. Just rela relax. Now, when you approach him, do it in a low-key way with your body. Turn. Kneel and avoid eye contact. Then, take your dog outside to water the lawn. You'll be relieved and so will he. This is Sybil Sikowski with Simply Sensational Solutions. <laughs> <laughs>